Hi everyone, my name is Electro Donkey, and uh, today we're back on the No Man's Sky type uh, tutorial we've got going. So, uh, in the last video I said it would possibly be the last one, but if you watch my update video, I've said uh, no, I've changed my mind, because all you guys obviously wanted me to, um, to keep going at it. So I've looked at that and said, you know what, uh, sure, I will keep going. So uh, there's loads of new content going to be coming for this, so we're going to have some enemies, some inventory type stuff, mining definitely, ores and stuff to, to mine on the planets, just like No Man's Sky. A bit controversial, but never mind. But in today we're going to be doing something a little bit more light, uh, just for the first video. And we're going to be doing some leaves. So all of our trees are currently looking super bare, they're just like twigs in the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some leaves to them and make them look a bit more like trees, hopefully. Now I have recorded this video once already but the sound failed so we're going back at it again. Um, but anyway guys, uh, if we scroll down to our create event in the object world gen, create the planet, if we scroll right down to where it says here, and we got a little for loop looping through and making wood. What we will need to do is inside here make an if statement saying if ii I, equals 3. So if we're on our last iteration of the for loop, then we're going to start making our leaves. That's when we're going to make our leaves. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to copy this. Here. Now that is our base. This is our very top wooden block. So this is where we're going to be moving from. So what we're going to do with this is we're then going to say plus one. So that will be one space to the right of that. It's going to equal BK block leaves. Now I've got a um, as background already made. You can go ahead and make your own really quick and simple. Now what this will do is on the very last iteration, it will place a leaf block, one to the right of every single tree. So if we go ahead now, we can see there is one leaf block at the side of every single tree. But this doesn't look like a tree to me. That's what you're probably saying. You're saying, Donkey, that's just that's just the leaf block. That's no use. Well, yeah, that's not much use. I'm just showing you the uh, the practical aspect of it. So now, if we go back into the Create Planet, we're going to have to start doing some serious code because, unfortunately, the only way of making these leaves is to go through and make more and more and more and more and more and more and more of these until we have enough. So the first one is going to be minus one. That's going to be one to the left. This one's not going to have anything on the X, and it's going to be minus one on the Y, which is going to be the one above the third. So now we'll have it looking like a little teepee, a little triangle. But we want to make it look a bit more broad, so this is going to be two to the right now. And we're going to have another one here, which is going to be two to the left to balance it out. Now what we're going to have is we're going to have one kind of diagonally to the right, um, so by putting minus one there, and then we're going to have one diagonally to the left. And then finally we're going to have one two spaces above the, uh, the last wooden block. So now if we go and run that, and don't worry, I will go back to that and explain that in a lot more detail in a minute. But before all that, let's just go ahead and see if it's worked. And yes, it has. You can see they look a little bit like, more like trees. Uh, so let's go ahead and explain that code quickly. Basically, uh, here is controlling our right, one to the right. This is controlling one to the left. This is controlling one above. This is controlling two to the right. This is controlling two to the left. This is controlling one up and one to the right. This is controlling one up and one to the left. And then this final one is controlling two up. Uh, and I will be going into a bit more easy way um, of doing that in a minute. But first, I need to show you guys something because this is a major hole. And you'll probably come across this if you test it enough, but um, let's let's try and recreate the hole in the code and uh, how we're going to fix it in a minute. So here, kind of, that's a really bad example, though. I want something good to work with so you can easily see. 
It's tricky though, isn't it? There, there we go. So you can see we have our shape here, our triangle shape, and we have our triangle shape here, but you can see this bit here is being overwritten by the leaves. The bit of wood is being overwritten by leaves. Now that's not how the world works, guys. You don't just prod a bit of wood with a leaf and it falls down. That's not how it works, guys. In case you didn't notice. Um, but anyway, if we go back into the create event, we're going to have to do some more code to get this to work. And unfortunately, once again, the only way of doing this is a really long-winded way. So for each one, we're going to need an if statement. And all we're going to do is co copy this bit here, and we're going to say equals bk air. So if it's completely empty block, then we're going to place our leaves there. And you're going to have to go down and do this for every single one. But luckily for you guys, because I'm so kind, I'm not going to make you write that out for eight different ones. Is that eight? Probably. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little link to a paste bin in the description with this bit of code here. So let me just, uh, I'll copy this into my game. Uh, you'll just have to copy it in from a website. But basically this is my quick way of doing it which I wrote out earlier and it took me absolutely ages to do. So this is in a lot more depth for a start. So um, the wood is represented by W and the leaves is represented by an L and that's represented by air. So here you can see my little representation of what this tree here would look this tree here would look like. And here you go, that is how it looks, right? So if we look into here it tells us that 3 1 and 3 3 are controlled by this bit. And this is one to the right and one to the left. So if we go in we find 3 1 one to the left, three, three, one to the right. So you can see how this starts to piece together. So with this comment here and with this code, you can basically go through and you can change this. And you can say, hey, I want a leaf there. So we need it at one, four. So we need something that's four in the second number. So here, four. So if we just have, if we have that bit, that X, that will work for the four, That's that controls the four, yes? But then we need the three, we need that to be one, so if we minus two here, that would put our block here, our leaf block there. And uh, you can start to create your very own tree and make it look probably a bit nicer than mine. You could even, you know, if you're thinking to go absolutely fancy and you fancy yourself as a bit of a coder, you could make it randomized, so you could have random trees. Yeah, maybe just a suggestion. I'm not going to go and do that myself because that would take quite a long time. But if someone does go ahead and make that, if you send me it, I will uh, happily share it with all my followers. Um, but anyway, guys, if we go and run that now just to check, that should be it. That should run um, pretty nicely. So if we run into our game, yep, you can see there that it's working. We have all of our trees being created. And if we try and create to recreate the error that we had beforehand where it was drawing into yep you can see there it's just m merged to make like a mega tree <laughs> which isn't exactly nice but you know it works we're not having weird overwritten textures so now guys the the world is starting to come together you know we've got these randomly generated structures we've got a stone and we've got some trees, so it's starting to look a bit more like a planet, you know, which is good. I like the things that look like a planet, especially when we're making a planet exploration game. Good one. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be able to mine it. That's what we're going to do in the next video. So mining, inventories, all that beautiful stuff is going to be coming up. And I was thinking even some things so you move slower when you're going through leaves or something. And of course, we're going to be going back to the infamous saving we are going to do it guys i uh, will be doing it all the way through this series trying to get it fixed uh, so in that final episode we will get the saving done but anyway guys i want to say a massive uh, thanks for all the support you gave me on the series um i will definitely definitely do more of these uh, i hope you are enjoying them well you probably are if you've put all those lovely comments um 
but yeah, we've got some trees doing, and we're going to start to get stuff done from now on. I know we haven't got much progress made before. We're going to start doing some now. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, remember to check out some of my other tutorials and videos, and I will see you in the next one.